Indeed I am. What you must realize, my Autobot warriors, is that we were never going to win the war. For the sake of our planet's survival, a deal had to be made. With Megatron. <coughs> What have you done? I hereby discharge you from duty. So let me just do my intro here. You live? Hello? Hello? Hello Nick. Hello! <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Son of a gun. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> What's up, YouTubers? One and all, my name is FateLive1987, here with Chave, aka the actor of Lockdown in the fan, fan, fan made project Transformers Rise of Unicron. Hello, everybody. So, we are taking a look yeah. today at Sentinel Prime. Uh, my One of the more gorgeous figures. Yes. Yes. I just saw your review. I really did like it. I really did. Thank you. I just had to, I had to mention you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, I knew when you started talking about the three big baddies, like, I knew. Oh my god. You're, from, you're about to, Yep. And then, pretty soon, I just saw about, like, a minute or two of you talking, and there you go. Um, by the way, I only got to figure the backdrop I actually got way earlier because of the seller selling, um, all these different backdrops for Suda Series. So I managed, yeah. I managed to snag that. So I actually, I pretty much, without the packaging, I got everything for a figure. Because it did, in fact, come with a sword. So... Uh, let's begin. This is Sentinel Prime. He does roll. Um, very, very nice integrated detail. The only thing on my copy here is the fact that someone, since it's a use, put Reaper Labels Autobot symbols on here. He's a freaking Decepticon. He's a traitor. Uh, Chave, what just happened? What just happened with you? Absolutely no idea. I just couldn't hear you. Okay, but um, but um, I I um, I got my copy. Apparently, someone decided to put Reaper labels Autobot symbols on it, even though he's a freaking traitor. Yeah. That really isn't very good for the Autobots. Oh no. Yeah. Um, one thing I technically don't like a lot about the, uh, this toy is the fact that um the um the fire hose thing it doesn't turn 360 only goes back and forth and even has a more back and forth motion to it no, but even on the on the third party figures like the upscale version even that hose doesn't it doesn't turn it doesn't rotate yeah so, uh, you know yeah. what does though the original commander class which i will uh, do a size comparison as well 
Yeah, clearly, yeah. Cl yes, I got the original Commander class from 2011. Yeah. Um, when I get Ironhide, I'm gonna get this guy into review. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, no, don't have. Don't put the two of them together. Maybe I will. Um, unfortunately, I do not have Dark and a Moon um, leader class Megatron yet. He's on the way. So for now, I'm just gonna do size comparison with the other Dark and a Moon cons I do have. At least that's something I have that you don't. Yet. One thing. Yeah. Uh, do you- You should holding him right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, also, I got, um, I got a, um, Jetfire. I'm just missing his cane. Ooh. Yeah, but everything yeah. else, everything else on him is okay, actually. He's all in good condition. I got Grimlock. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Yeah, I just got um, Galvatron last night, actually. Dude. Yes, Super Series Galvatron. Oh. And uh, speaking of lockdown, why don't we just bring him out? And what? Um, why don't you just? How good's your acting right now? Uh, well, it's pretty decent. <laughs> why? Do some lines for lockdown, please. Okay, uh, what do you want me to say? What he says to Optimus during the, uh, road battle. Uh, I almost feel sorry for you, Pry. Your allegiance to these humans. The trouble with loyalty to the cause is that the cause will always betray you. Who sent you here? Where do you think you came from? You think you were born? No. You were built, and your creators want you back. We all work for someone. Oh, yes! And, if, and he, that is so good. You want to know something else about that? What? That was, like, if you put the soundtrack over, um, like... That part of the soundtrack over your your um your your voice, it it actually matches the actual film film's pacing. Uh, okay, so uh, doing side comparison right now, we got Leader Class Shockwave. Love that guy. Yep. I do not have the blade, and honestly, I think it's a good thing because the blade sucks. I'd rather have yeah. I'd rather have someone either three three printed or the uh, um, the DNA kit, and then I got Stu Sirius Soundwave with rat with a uh, laser beak. If you want, they do have like a I forgot what the name of the kit is, but it basically is just a blade. Like it doesn't come with a replacement for anything else. It just comes with a plastic blade or a shockwave. Yeah, you can put the link in, in the description in it somewhere. I'll maybe I'll yeah. and then uh and then of course comparing to Stu series Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, uh because it's the closest Megatron to the um to Dark and the Moon. Okay. And there you go. Now let's transform this guy and Oh boy, we only we <laughs> This one's gonna be a long one, folks. Oh dear. That doesn't sound very promising. Alright, so transforming this guy first. And by the way, I practice a lot transforming beforehand, so I know how to get get done easy. You take these out. The these little bits right here are gonna become his uh his sword, his uh his blade. Just put it like that. Just leave that to the side for now. You're gonna come around here to the back, and you're just gonna start untabbing everything here. That's you're gonna yeah, bring. Everyone can agree that transforming something from the old mode into the robot mode is way easier because you're just pulling stuff apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all. That's that's actually true. So you split these apart. 
bring this down. Uh, don't bring it all the way down just yet. That's like so. You're going to take this bit, fold it up. This will give clearance to rotate. And this tab right here is going to slot into this hole. And then you're going to angle this. And then you got this tab is going to slot into that hole. There you have a leg all done. Now also, flip this. It's like you're supposed to insert M go. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Some inspiration I do take from M go, but I don't. Um, I don't plagiarize totally. I don't really want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, second. Just like, yeah. Just yeah. Just, just exact. Yeah. Yeah. Especially so you put this back. Little, at the end of. Uh, at the end of my shockwave video, you know, when I had Megs and Shockwave, I was like, oh, how do I do something without copying him going? <laughs> yeah, um, I also saw that, man, you need Megatron, still needs the burritos, you'll get them one day. <laughs> so you flip it out like so. Also, when I see Megs, I just think of burritos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, I'm going for that. And then this part's a little tricky. What you're supposed to do is that you're going to have to pull this roof part off. It's a bit hard to do it. I suggest first taking the arms off first. That makes it a bit easier. On the side. And just bring out. Bring out. This gives clearance to pull this up. Out. Like so, turn it around, we're going to fold this in. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sentinel Prime is going to make you seem like Ironhide right now, because I'm getting a lot of injuries. <laughs> yeah, uh, so you're going to have an angle like that for now. want to flip up his head, and then you're going to angle these down enough so that these chest parts lock in then you're going to these little tabs go in these holes here and these just slot on like so fold the arms up i got pinched again <laughs> gonna come back here and just split this part And he's almost all done. The main biggest part is dealing with the um, with the waist. How you deal with that is you're gonna come around here. No, you're gonna waste. you're gonna this tab right this hole right here is gonna slot into this tab, and that's just gonna lock the waist as best as it can in place. And to finish locking in a place, fold the leg pauldrons up. Get them all yeah, nice and situated. on your copy of the toy, is, does it hold together decently? I mean, once you have it tabbed in properly, yes. Because uh, everything, everyone I watch, I just see people constantly complaining about how it doesn't hold in properly. I mean, once you have it tabbed in, yes, but it's like... It's a bit, it's a bit different, but still, it, it kind of works. I guess that's his Achilles heel. You just aim for the waist. <laughs> so, and finally, to finish off the look, we're going to get his arm, his, uh, his weapon. Slide in here. And just do the same on the other side. Arts forming. Criminal. <laughs> and there you have Sentinel Prime in his robot mode. Very well done, I must say. I mean, the eyes, though, they look like they stare into your freaking soul. Not gonna lie. Indeed I am. But you must realize, my Autobot brothers, is we were never going to win the war. 
for the sake of our survival, a deal had to be made with Megatron. <clears throat> you can actually do his voice really well, I admit that. I love his voice, he has one of the best voices out yeah. of any Transformer. Yeah, Rip Let Letter let Nimoy. Yes, legend indeed. Uh, for size comparison, I'm going to have to transform every single one of them, so... Yeah, I got I got a lot to transform. Uh, just give me a moment, because it's going to be a bit of a while, and it might kill my camera, but who cares? Well, technically, I, I still kind of care, because it's the camera. So when you pause the video and deceive all the viewers. <laughs> yeah, that's that is a good thing. Might as well just pause the video, deceive all the viewers. But then again, that would that would mean I would cut off a lot of our talking, and I want to keep it on camera. So. Ah. Uh, well, I mean. Well, might as well entertain you somehow. Uh, uh, so, in like 2020, uh, I got uh, Leader Jetfire, and I thought that he was one of the coolest things in the world. And uh, and then guess what happened a couple months later? What? The, you know how he can split apart, obviously, to form the Jetwing Prime? Uh, I tried doing that, and then just one random time, the little pin that holds like his chest to the, the stick bit, that just, that little bit of plastic broke, so now he is just completely severed. <laughs> oh, heck no. Oh, I feel bad for you. Oh, don't worry, it gets even worse. Oh, wait, worse? <laughs> because I was trying to do it again, like, not that same bit, but I was trying to do the legs, and then his, well, it'll be his left leg broke. Oh no! It's just below the bottom leg. Oh no! <laughs> so it, it's a it's a good and bad. It's bad because obviously I can't transform him and I can't really play with him. But it's good because from a visual aspect, it makes his cane much better because it actually holds him steady. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's helpful. It's functional. It's functional, it's awful, but it works. Yeah, I actually just have him standing behind Brawl on the display. It's so sad, his leg is literally in, like, just down in front of it. Oh. Poor Jetfire. Poor Jetfire. Oh. I mean, once I How get- How many of the figures do you have? Uh, how many, what, Studio Series figures? Yeah. Including the ones that are on the way? No, we will not include those because I will steal them. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, I have um, SS05 Prime. I... Okay, I'm gonna name all the ones I got while transforming these guys, so give me a moment. Also, Soundwave's like really chippy when it comes, really uh, crazy when it comes to his chest part. Like, that's like one of the most nigh impossible thing transformations you can do without popping it off, and that's if you that's have. That's part. Huh? No, so it kind of sounds like the sideswipe figure. Yeah. I mean, I don't have the sound wave, but from from what I can see, he his chest cleans up very nicely. Yeah, his chest cleans up very nicely, but it's like the transformation to get there is like it has it's a lot of ball joint, and it can easily rip off, and you and sometimes viewers just have to go, you know what, just pop it all back yeah. on. I can literally list mine because they're literally all in front of me right now. Um, I don't have as many as uh, others because obviously due to shipping and stuff, it costs a bomb. 
So the prices in stores are just ridiculous. Mm. So, I mean, there's Jetfire, there's Brawl, Bone Crusher, uh, Scavenger, Shockwave, Jazz, Sideswipe, Mixmaster, uh, 54 Megatron, and Dark of the Moon Megs. Okay, so I have uh, Brawl, um, Bone Crusher, 54 Megs, Premium Finished version. Oh, sorry. What do you mean, <laughs> oh, sorry? That one's actually really good. Sorry, we know that you're the fancy kid. Premium <laughs> you Finished. Yeah, but, uh, anyways... Um, I got, uh, Blitzwing, I just got 85 RC, I'm actually saving that for a collab video with one of my, uh, co-authors, we're working on some Transformer stories, we are almost done oh, one, like, we've been working on these for, like, quite a long while, and we're almost done with, with, um, with our latest one. In fact, we, we have a de we have a deadline date to finish at least writing it before we start compiling on um by uh tomorrow actually we gotta finish it tomorrow and I think we can actually finish it today. Wow! Wow! Yeah, yeah. We've been yeah, working. Did not save it to the last minute. No, 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 no. We've been working on this. It's just that we're supposed to finish it. It's not the posting part that we can. That is going to be for tomorrow. It can just be for today. We just finish writing it in general. That's what we're aiming for. Oh, I see. Okay. Baby steps. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I forgot about Stinger and Lockdown. Oh, I have Stinger and Lockdown as well. Do you have a problem with Lockdown where, like, his left arm, like, that ball joint is just way too loose? No, actually. Not yet, at least. Not yet. I've heard, I've, heard, I've heard people having that problem. I don't have that problem yet, thankfully. Yeah, because, I mean, I got him, I got him, Stinger, and Brawl, I think it was, for Christmas of 2018. And Lockdown's arm, it, like, after, like, a year or something, it just got so loose. Like, I can't even move it, and it just falls off. Ooh. Like, Stinger's arms are loose, but they don't, they don't come off. So I literally just keep the lockdown in Lambo mode. I feel bad for you, but I really do. And I suck the character I'm literally playing. I can't even look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> that is sad. That is that's 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 sad. That's really is. He's the only one. Actually, you know, I can't. Okay, I can't fold the head out. So if I look at the car from the underneath, I can't see his face. But still, like, come on. Yeah, come on, really. Oh. Which do you think is the most fun to transform out of the ones you have? Uh, so far, uh, there's a there's a quite a few. Um, the Megatrons really seem fun and true. Really, they are. They do. Um, but and so far, that's all the ones I have, including Galvatron. And I've watched so many reviews that I didn't need the instructions to transform him. Do you need the instructions? Yeah, videos are instructions, but still. I I did I didn't need to use the actual paper instructions to transform him because I've watched the reviews so many times. And like when go, you get a figure, do you actually take the instructions and use them? When I uh yes, yes I do, and that's for figures that I don't really read often. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. But if I if it's just like a plain figure, like Grimlock, for example, I have to use a um use the video because it does not it did not come with instructions. So there's that. Uh, so I have Grindor. I have Grindor, I keep calling him Blackout, because he's my Blackout to me. Ah, well, I can't hear you, but there's some wonderful singing for you. <laughs> there we go. 
But I have um, I have Grindor. I have SS. Oh yeah. I have the. Oh, you get so happy when you use that as a size comparison. I'm like, oh my god, it's Grindor. Yeah, because that's the only leader class I had for a for the only. Big figure. Yeah, that's the only leader class I had for for a while, and then finally I have more to to uh, size comparison with, thankfully. This is Shockboy that you're hearing. I'm amazed that even comes up on the audio. Yeah. Then again, I'm right, um, like the computer is where I'm having to, because I'm using my phone to record the, um, the, 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 the thing. So for now, I'm just using my, 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 my Chromebook for Discord. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Okay, so I use my phone for everything. Yeah, yeah. I, have to, I, and if I'm gonna be doing a Discord call for a video review, I have to use my phone and my Chromebook. Oh, yeah. You're way more professional than me. I don't even have a laptop. What, um, what video, um, thing do you use? Like, what video editing service do you use? Yeah, that, that that's a uh, that's even. That's something amazing about my low budget. Uh, I I literally just use the Samsung Galaxy, uh, the Samsung Gallery editor. Oh, <laughs> I have to go and get an app called Power Director. Uh oh. Yeah. I've never used an app. I literally just go into Samsung Gallery. I go to video and I'm like I create movie. Okay, background music, adding this transition. Yeah, you're more lucky because I got an Android phone. I have Android. Oh, oh, it is Android? Well, I don't have a Samsung. That's my problem. So, here we are with the Swift Bar size comparisons, because I finally managed to transform them. I should have timed you. <laughs> yep. Okay, so... Uh, Commander class Sentinel right next to Voyager class Sentinel. And honestly, they look good. I just wish Sentinel had his gun and his seal. Especially the shield. I mean, sure, we can get the acid rust gun somewhere else. Uh, that's definitely the trigger because downfall is the lack of accessories. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's kind of sad. We have sound wave, and we're just gonna add laser beam for the fuck of it. That thing's creepy. Yeah, so we have sound wave next to Sentinel Prime. He looks good. And let's just might as well bring in the rest of the movie three to set the cons. I'll have to edit this one later for the official size comparison for Dark of the Moon to set the cons. Next to Shockwave, and then I'll have to zoom out a little bit so I can get Megatron in the picture. I feel like half of this is just me impersonating Transformers. <laughs> this will be an issue. <laughs> I mean, we're also talking about Sentinels, so why not? Um, one thing I did manage to do with Megatron, with Megatron, um, for the SS thirty one. If you have SS oh five. If you ain't, if you transform it well enough, like I actually am gonna be doing a review. Uh, by the way, there's a solid comparison for all of them. But if you if you transform it enough, like I do in a review, you can actually reenact the killing of Optimus. What? what? Yeah, like I ha I I managed to transform Optimus enough, and. When you transform him, there's like this hole that goes all the way through him while you're transforming. So I thought, hmm, if I just take some parts off a little bit here and there, like uh, untransform it a bit, stick the blade in there, and make him go and put the backdrop on. That's basically the killer. Yeah. That's actually really damn smart. Yeah. Unfortunately. It, if you hold the pose for too long, it's going to start bending Megatron's blade. 
So better take the picture oh, before it's okay. gone. Yeah. So there's dark. So there's our dark and moon Decepticons. I'll have to replace Megatron later. Makes sense. Yeah. That um, I, I don't. I think it was all five Megatron, the Revenge of the Fallen Voyager. He did actually come to the stores, and my mom was like, "No, you're not getting him. You already have a Megatron." Little did she know that since then I would have gotten two more. <laughs> I also have 05 Megatron, as, I mean, Transformers The Last Night Megatron. Oh, for I have uh, The Last Night Voyager and Leader, I have the Dark of the Moon Leader and the original movie Voyager. Oh! The, yeah. <laughs> okay, while we're here, might as well just like, uh, tell you all, all the studio series I have. I have Thrust, Dino, uh, Bumblebee Movie, Soundwave, Ravage, Shockwave, and Wheeljack. And I just recently got um, Bumblebee Movie RC. I got Grindor. Let's see here. What else we got? I got SS74 uh, Bumblebee. I got 74 Bumblebee. I got Brawl. Bone Crusher, Prima Finish, Megatron, Barricade, and Clunker Bumblebee 2 pack. Galvatron, Jetfire, Grimlock, Stinger, Lockdown, Sideswipe, 05 Optimus. Um, At least Jetfire is in one piece. <laughs> yeah. Well, except for his cane, but I don't think I don't really care for that much in truth. And, uh, I think he can stand without the king, I'm not sure. Yeah, he can't stand without the king, it's fine. Yeah. And then also have um, SS31 um, Megatron. Honestly, way more accurate paint color. Then we have Shockwave, Sa uh, Soundwave, and finally uh, Sentinel. Sentinel, main card to review here. Uh, Sentinel. Yes. One of the most desired Transformers. Yep. And now we're just gonna do size comparison. Well, I mean, we just did size comparison. We're gonna do articulation. So, we're, so he does have, um, if you unhook this, he does in fact have some swivel, uh, waist rotation. But if, um, since his back does tend to have, his uh, waist does tend to have issues. It will not actually have rotation. But he does have a uh, wrist swivel. 360. His arms can go 360. Shoulders all the way up and down. 360 at the bicep. Up and down with, with the bicep. With the, at the elbow. Head can move. But it can't move 360. It can move. It's basically like on a ball joint. Legs can do the splits. You can do the full splits, ladies and gentlemen. And he just became dislodged. Because I... Because I, uh... Kept... I, I pushed the pat poultice back in. Legs can go... That forward and... That forward. You can almost kick his face. Knee joint. Because that's what every Trump all wants to do. It's their dream to kick their own face. <laughs> Knee joint, you can swivel 360 and it goes back and forth. Toe movement is unfortunately due to transformation, and he has no ankle movement. And that's basically it for a Sentinel. Sigh. Now, Sign Transformer back into rob um, vehicle mode. So, the less fun of the two modes, transformation wise. <laughs> I mean, it, I've transformed it enough, I know how to, how to deal with it easier. So, here's, so first, you're going to make sure the arms are all the way down like so. Might as well just like flip down the pauldrons so you can just un, unrelease this part right here. You're going to take the pa shoulder pauldrons and just slot them down until they slot into place. There's this hole here and a little tab there, 
And, and once you have them straight, they're just going to slide into place like so. Then you're going to come around and you're going to open all this up and fold it until it's nice and flush. You're going to take the arms and you're just going to angle it like that. Make sure it's like angling with, with the plate. Do the same thing on the other side. And then you're going to take the doors which are actually the vehicle mode doors. You're going to fold them out, and you're going to angle this up just a bit. And then you're going to fold the head in. Now this part, you're going to need to untab this, bring it all the way around, and you're going to slide this all the way over. You got holes here, you got tabs on this here, and this is basically just going to slot all together. You got this hole here. That's just going to have this tab slot in. There's the front half of the... Well, the cab part all done. Now you're going to flip this up. You're going to come around here. Take the arms. And you might as well also just clip this in. Which, it's a bit hard to do. Especially since, like, it's just like a little finicky. But you're gonna slide that in. You got these big posts here. I'm trying to unclip something. You got a big post here. You are going to slot all this in. This arm's gonna slot in like so. But I suggest you leave this arm for after you put this, you put the right arm in all that's just gonna tab there slot the hand in the post this is not only going to slot in the post but it's also going to lock the arm into place and there you have the arms all done now coming down to the legs you're going to take this part fold it out and take that fold it out you're going to lift this, and you're going to spin this 180. And you're just going to angle it like that. You know? Is everything okay with you? I'm just challenging myself, because ever since you started transforming Sentinel, I want to see how many Transformers I can transform in that time. Oh, how many have you done so far? I'm doing very well. I'm actually just about to finish scavenger. Oh, why did you start with a leader class, boy? Because I love transforming him. He's one of my favorites. You you recommend him a lot? I do. I do. He's, he's Have you tried getting Have you tried getting a uh, Legends class Ironhide and Optimus and redoing that scene? Class figure. I I have so many at this moment. Like I'm 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 actually I had like a I was doing a review last night and it was let's just say that I had a lot of frustration because it's it was a I mean sure the lessons class were great I do recommend some of them not all of them but it was a lot to go through. And also, I was doing this late at night, so there's that as well. I'm gonna fold this out. Like I so. I guess i late at night. It is now 22.36 here. <laughs> it is, uh, uh... What time is it here? It is 3.36 here, and why is my Chromebook on light mode? I want it dark mode, but I can always have it. So, this yes. slot here is going to slot in here. Yeah, apparently it did an update without me knowing it, and now um, my Chromebook's um, backdrop is, like, white. Like, I don't know why. So, this is going to slot in there. That's going to fold down. 
These two are going to come together. You're going to fold these in in place. You're going to tab everything together. Like so. And the hardest part of transformation is just combining it with the back with the with the top half of the fire truck. You got all these tabs, they're gonna slot into all these holes up here in the arms. But it's actually more easier than you think. And he's almost done. Last thing we need is to put the blades in. You need to fold these in like so. And then you got these little slots here. You're going to put these two tabs in there. And then do the same on the other side. And there you have Sentinel in his robot mode. Clearly this... Uh, what? Oh, yes. Oh. What happened? I was, I, was finish, I was trying to finish the 54 Megatron, but I don't know what I did wrong. I didn't um, do the, the legs correctly. Oh. <laughs> if you had taken like 10 more seconds, I would have finished it. <laughs> but... Uh, these, this video is pretty long because we're doing a collab, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah. But, this is, that's basically it for, for the review. I do recommend this figure if you ever get it. You really should, you, especially you, Shepa, you really should get it. I recommend it, even though I do not have it. <laughs> yes, that is definitely true. Um... Oh. I got to when you sent me the picture of him, uh, I, I got so I got kind of annoyed because I saw his shoulder pads were down. Oh. I think you had just taken him out of the box. I think. Yeah, I just took him out of the box. I just took him out of the pa out of the package box, and I just sent it immediately because I thought you would want to see it. Okay, that's the first thing I saw when I woke up. I was like, oh my god, he finally got it. And then your shoulder, the shoulders are like, really, dude? <laughs> uh, so, have you ever heard of World's Smallest Transformers? Have you ever heard of World's Smallest Transformers? Oh, I'm kind of scared to answer that question. I will send you a picture, and I will just quickly tease it inside the video. Okay. I I only got one, and his name is Six Shot. Like, the Six original G1 down. Six Shot, in a very miniature form. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, he... You'll see how he... It, like, I'm just gonna put him on Sentinel to end the video. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Also, I got sideways as well. I forgot to mention. I got sideways. Oh my god, the sideways looks so cool. I know. Uh, any other yeah. vi like any other videos would you like to do? I'm running out of space on my phone, so we'll have to do them most likely tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. But um, is there any other figures would you like to review with me? Grimlock. Grimlock. Okay, we'll do Grimlock, and it's a good thing I also have his backdrop. Okay. Yeah, I also have his backdrop. Let's just put him over there for help. Oh, and I have a question. Yes. Have you seen? And okay, well, obviously you're on the you're on the freaking server, but still, um, the picture of the the fallen. Yes. Oh my God! He actually has the removable face. No, I'm looking at it right now, like as I'm talking to you, and it just looks fantastic. I'm so happy. That I'm wondering that. what those parts are right next to the main body and underneath the face. No, because what what I'm assuming is uh, this person probably like stole it from the factory. 
And so, yeah, I mean, I don't think that's going to be how it is. I think those are going to be attached to the body. Yeah, but still, I we better get that review tomorrow because unfortunately, Prime Prince of Prime decided, okay, I'm going to release a different video today. Yeah, yeah, you see. Oh, no. Yeah, I really wish he could have released it today. It would have made today so much more better. I mean, if you want to do a back to back. Oh, no, you're running out of space. Crap. Oh. I mean, I can act. Well, well, I mean, tomorrow. I mean, I'm also available tomorrow. We're probably going to be finished the store tonight. And hopefully, if I get a lot of things uploaded, I can actually get um, get some more stuff tomorrow. I will save Grimlock for us. Um, apparently, uh, Dark Blade wants to do, I think it was Bumblebee. So I'm gonna do Bumblebee and Barricade with her. Uh, Dark Blade is one of my uh, one of my other co-authors. <laughs> um, do you know Do you know the show Miraculous? Like Miraculous, are you what? Yeah. yeah the, the one villain's name was Dark Blade. Oh. <laughs> I I don't know if I, I don't know if Magenta or Dark Blade one seven zero knows that. Oof. Any. I mean, I'll... you know. Huh? I may have just exposed it. What just happened? No idea. Transformers. Oof. Um, Anyways, any other video would you like to do besides Grimlock or just Grimlock and that's it? Um, I think maybe just Grimlock because I'm trying to remember what you got from that from that haul. You got you got RC, you got sideways, the two pack. Grimlock, Bone Crusher, Brawl. Um, I'm not sure what else. I'm saving RC for one of my friends. Barricade and, and Bumblebee are gonna be for um, Dark Blade. The Miraculous Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got Jetfire. I got Galvatron. I got SS05. And I recorded SS31, so it's too late for that one. But because okay, I, I I recorded SS31 beforehand, because I came up with an alternate third mode for him. Because you know how he's a triple changer in Revenge of the Fallen? Yes, I, I think you I think you, you showed us. I think. Yeah, I, I gotta sure. up, I gotta update yeah. the I gotta update the picture, but it's gonna be in, in okay. the it's gonna be in the video because the way I had it in the picture, it's not exactly how I have it inside the final video, and the final video looks better than the picture I have posted on the server. I should do a video on how to do the like the secret the secret mix between um like the combination of mix master and scavenger because you can get like a motorbike. Yeah, well, yeah, I I've, I've seen but, I've yeah. seen that on Tauntaun. I also like um like the one where where it looks like he's like the big big giant robot with like like four arms or something. Yeah, that looked cool, but I like I, I don't know. I just have to do the motorbike. You do the motorbike. All right, we have to learn trans. You have to watch the transformation and go along with it, and then you go and then uh, I do you got a long haul right now? If this video, the one you're doing right now. If this video gets five likes, then uh, I will probably do the Galvatron with you. Okay. So that's three v videos together. Yeah. Uh, Galvatron is definitely going to be... Def I'm going to hold off of him until I get Dark and Moon Megatron. Because there's this trend going around yeah. on YouTube where I've seen that when they do... Well, I ha once I have um, 30, um, 34 Megatron... I'm going to have basically all five movie Megatrons in accurate scale. Here's the thing. The reviews I've seen for Galvatron, none of them include size, size scaling for the last night Megatron, only just the Studio Series Megatrons. I mean, that's fair, because the Studio Series ones are more recent. Yeah, but I'd rather have all five in the same comparison instead of just yeah. four out of the five. So I'm definitely going to change that when I do... When I do um, Galvatron, or maybe even Dr. Movement, I don't know. As long 
long as you keep me away from Jack Fire, then you're safe. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. Please just do that with anyone else. So that is it for the review. I thank you for joining us. Yes, it was extremely fun. Yes. Uh, of course, half the video is just going to be us talking in a toy, either standing or in vehicle mode. <laughs> While I'm reviewing it. And me trying to beat you in a Transformers race. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. And I hope your work goes well on no on on um on Rise of Unicron. Thank you. All right. All right. And as always, till all are one.